today it's my privilege to show you one of my favorite cars that we've had uh, in here maybe in uh, two or three years. This is a beautiful matching number 67 GTO Post Coupe. We traded this car a couple months ago and we've been working on it ever since to bring it to you just this way. This is an HO 67 GTO, high output. They were 360 horsepower from the factory. Beautiful grills on those cars. Fog lights. Uh, as opposed to 335 horsepower with the standard GTOs. I've got several people looking at this car. Several guys breathing hard about this car. So I thought I'd better do some video footage to help one of them over the uh, finish line. These are the beautiful Hearst wheels. Right there, they are brand new. That's part of what we just did to this car. When this beautiful car came in, it wasn't nearly as pretty as it is right now. It was completely stock original, old paint, not particularly attractive. It was white with the same gold interior there and a column shift automatic instead of the beautiful factory console we are installing right now with the his and her shifter. The car is extremely original as far as uh, drivetrain is concerned, which is very rare. And whoever ordered this car definitely did not order it to be a drag race car or whatever, which probably explains why it's still intact. <clears throat> How do I know that? Well. People normally didn't order high performance cars with column shift automatics and they normally did order tachometers and this one came with no tachometer. So part of our deal here uh, in the buy it now price, I have this car on eBay right now. This is May 30th, 2014. This car will be sold probably in the next day or so. Um, <clears throat> we are going to be putting a black factory hood tack, 67 hood tack on this beautiful GTO. So it will have an RPM gauge for the first time in, I don't know, 40 years or however old this car is. Rare post coupe. Bucket seats from the factory. Now with that console. We just did the pinstripes, did the hearse badges. The last thing I've got to do is put floor mats in this car. There will be a little bit of dyeing uh, on the interior. It's a very original interior and very nice. Um, so we'll get some nice fresh mats in there to make her look pretty. The dash is nice. Very nice. Does have the uh, front and rear speakers, uh, the original AM radio, and that all still works. Has the, excuse me, this is the speakers over here, and that one is your uh, rear defogger. It is all still there, the defogger. It does not work. I'm not sure that we will be repairing that. Um, I'm not sure you'll ever need it either. AM radio works, perfect. Original steering wheel. I have the pictures of this car before we restyled it, remodeled it. And actually anything we've done to this car can be reversed in the future. Paint is just paint. Wheels are removable. I'll show you something really interesting under the hood. But it's no wonder to me that uh, the 67 GTOs are so popular. Just neat cars. All right, let's take a peek under the hood. Actually, before that, let me show you the trunk. Buyers are always interested in seeing the trunk. This car uh, was built in Kansas, Kansas City, and it was shipped to New Mexico. So talk about your arid, dry climate. Original trunk, original quarters, no rust, nice. Also, I know we've ordered a new um, uh, trunk mat. That one's got a little stain there on it there. Full-size spare and jack with the car. This was an expensive paint job we put on this car. This is no slop it on there and hope for the best. It is mirror finish. Hopefully it shows that way. 
All the chrome in this car is absolutely gorgeous. The stainless is good to excellent. Right here, it has some patina on it, and a lot of that can be taken out with a little elbow. Right there. So let's open this beautiful hood and see what we have. Again, the underneath has not been show detail, but it is very original and very clean. No undercoat, never needed it because of the climate it was uh, destined to go to. Here we go, right here. That is the highest performance engine that you could buy from Pontiac in 1967 for your GTO. Power disc brakes, very rare option in 67. Power steering. How about factory air conditioning in your HO GTO? Okay, the previous owner added this. This is the Ram Air uh, air cleaner setup right there. That is factory. That brings that cold air in the duct or in the scoop and down into the carburetor. Here's something freaky rare. Even this black bottle right here, which I always thought was not particularly attractive, that's your windshield washer bottle. They changed it to white later, but in 67, the black is correct. How about this unit right here? That is 1967 cruise control. This car was ordered with factory cruise control. Pretty neat stuff. The car runs beautiful, drives even better. Suspension's all wonderful in the car. The brakes, disc brakes again. They work beautiful. Someone is going to love, love, love the 67 GTO. I wish it was me. If I had room in my garage, I'd be showing you my car. <laughs> this one right here. <laughs> Let me start it up for you. Uh, also part of the offering that I have on eBay, remote control mirror, um, is that I'm going to change out the pure stock factory style mufflers that are on it right now and put on uh, uh, a Flowmaster style muffler that will give it a little deeper, sexier rumble. And it certainly deserves to have that. Nothing loud and obnoxious. We'll be getting the uh, lock cylinder for the uh, console. <laughs> Pretty neat stuff. All right, let's fire up. So you will be looking at, right there, the factory hood tack, painted black just like uh, the car, and looking original. This car starts every time, it runs beautifully. The odometer shows 41,000 miles on it. I don't know if that's original, but you certainly couldn't argue with it. No funny engine sounds, just beauty to the Pontiac lever. It does have the correct codes on the front. It guarantees it is, in fact, an HO, 360 horse. Back rear car, we have all kinds of documentation that guarantees this car is what we are representing here. At this very moment, it's not too late. You can call me right now and get this car. May 30th, or 2014, you can anyway. My name is Jeff Whitaker. You can always reach me at 410-562-9319. Thanks for looking and have a great day.